Korea. Korea? Yeah, Korea. And your, yes. your name? Name? Han Gil. Han Gil. Mick. 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 Oh. What's your yeah. name? Jaehyun Kim. Jaehyun Kim. Hi. Kim Sa Yoon. Kim Sa Yoon. Hemba Shepa. Hemba Shepa. Namaste. Third one. Two more there. One sitting perched. Good morning, everyone. Saturday, 30th of September. And I've just woke up. It's about 6 o'clock. I was up around 20 to 5, uh, 20 to 6. And this is the view outside where the window was open. That was my room. This is outside my tank village. It's a nice day. It's not too uh, cold. Here's the view. And today what we have stored is we're gonna walk from Langtang Village all the way to Lama Hotel, which is, should be a fair hike. And then stay there the night and the next day get up and then go to Cyber Base A. And that'll be the end of the trek. We have a celebration and then next morning we get into a Jeep and then head back to Kathmandu. So here's the morning, and the uh, donkey's coming up with the supplies. They sort of know the trail themselves. There's one or two uh, guides, and one in the middle, one in the back. Basically, they know the, which way to go. That one's taking a cheeky uh, snack. So is this one. Grazing away. Like I said before, they carry up to about up to 120 kilos, like the size of a man. And it goes on out. Okay, so we're making our way out of Wang Tang, and uh, the other group of party had come. Now Tamara has a sore knee, so she's, uh, we gave her a knee brace, some anti-inflammatories and some rubs. So hopefully that uh, her knee will be enough, but like I said, she has travel insurance. So it's very important if you do come on the tracks, make sure you have adequate insurance so in case you do need it. So I don't know how much we'll be filming on the descent back because we're covering the same areas that we've come across. Here's the valley as we left Lang Tang's behind us. And uh, so we have about, it should be about a six hour trek all the way to Lama Hotel, but with Tamara's knee, it might be a little longer. But we'll see. Well, here's some donkeys. Go up. Donkeys. Wait here. Oh. Hello, namaste. namaste. Hello. Good. Sanche hono honcha. Yeah, so it's a beautiful view <laughs> as you walk back. Now most of it will be downhill, but there's never downhill in Nepal. Like you're going up and down, but mostly it'll be downhill. So you have to extend your poles. Made them a bit longer because you want to make sure because you can hurt yourself just easy going down as you can up. So here we are coming up to another prayer wall. If you remember you always pass to the left. And all the writing is the Tibetan writing. And it all means Omani Padme Home. It's through least like good karma for you. And uh, the porter in front of me, not only is carrying a couple bags, but as he's walking along the way, he's clearing the path. If he sees any loose stones, further people have passed by. You know, trying to give a little bit of good karma out for himself as well. It's a beautiful day. On a Saturday morning. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up, but I'll zoom it in. There's a nest of uh, monkeys. You can see them. They're all over the place. There's one there, one there, two there. Third one. Two more there. One sitting perched on the rock there. I'll try to zoom it in when I 
edit it to get closer. I took pictures of it. I'll put it on with the camera. But there are a whole bunch of them just sitting there in the trees, even over there. It must be about 20 or so. There's one right in front of us. It's about 10 meters in front. Just sitting there, big one. Look at the size of his tail. As we're walking back in this beautiful approach, now you see the donkeys coming up. But they see us and they stop, they're afraid. So your man has to nudge them along. Here we are. They look heavy. Good afternoon, everyone. It's about four o'clock. We made it into Lama Hotel. I didn't do much filming on the way back. Firstly, because we seen it all. And secondly, it was tough. It was, I'd say it was harder going downhill the whole way. Like basically, we were supposed to leave at eight. I think we have to at around nine and it's four o'clock. And pretty much it was all downhill. And I was just reflecting back on when we were coming. I can't believe that was all uphill the whole way. I can't believe we made it. Like it's incredibly tough and rewarding. But uh, I made it here to Lama Hotel. We're gonna rest here tonight. Tomorrow we'll be making our way to Cyber Busy. So uh, stay tuned and see what goes on. Yeah, here's a little quick uh, look at the outside. So. And this will be our place to rescue ourselves for the night. I'm just going to get myself a bottle of water because I'm thirsty. Hey, Korea. Korea? Yeah, Korea. And your, yes. your name? Name? Han Gil. Han Gil. Mick. 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 Oh. What's your yeah. name? Jaeyang Kim. Jaeyang Kim. Hi. Kim Sayu. Kim Sayu. Kemba Shepa. Kemba Shepa. Namaste. Namaste. Yes. Yes. Say your name and. Namin Ho. Namin Ho. Mick Ho. Mick. My name is Mick. Mick. Yeah, these are my friends that I met from South Korea. They uh, came from South Korea and we saw them at uh, Langtang and uh, now we met them again at uh, the uh, Lama Hotel. So. Mm. They're having a good time, right? Yeah. yeah? We, we, pass, we have been passing very good time. Oh. Ah, very good. So this is where the dining room is. You can see it's surrounded by all different guest houses too. So they all... I don't know if they work in competition or they're together. Wait to Tara. Nighting Himalayan range. And I'll show you the stove, it's cool. I'll show you the stove. It's really neat. And that's where they make all the food. And it's like right across from where we're staying. I'm staying in that room right there. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, about half six. The last day of our trek in towards Cerberbesi from um, we're at Lama Hotel. The weather looks okay. It's a little spitting, raining, but it doesn't look that bad. Um, it was a better night's sleep than the other nights. The bed was a little bit solid in that, but uh, looking forward to getting this done and dusted and head into Cyber Basie. Okay, seven o'clock on the button. And we're oh, sorry. No, and we're taking off, leaving Nama. So we have about six hours, six and a half hours to go. Oh. And uh, oh, look at that prayer flag. Look at that prayer flag. It's a big one. Anyways, it was a interesting destination. The breakfast uh, wasn't uh, the best. It was oats without the oats and a bit of apples. 
but we're looking forward to this hike for the next few hours, making our way towards Cyber Basie. So, there are all the different tea houses you have. So, Lama Hotel has a, quite a bit. And here they all come. Here's one last look as we get ready for the trek. So, we've been going about 45 minutes now. Um, it's mostly been downhill. There's some uphills, but uh, reflecting back on it, if you're coming here from the Western societies and you're middle aged or older, I definitely recommend bringing a, a porter. Like the amount of work and help that they do is really uh, remarkable. Um, you don't realize like the, the amount of hills that we're doing up and down, and if you're carrying your own bag and that, it, would add a lot of pressure to it but it's definitely definitely worth it um, hats off and a lot of respect for them I look what they're carrying usually they carry like three bags each um you know and they make it look so easy like they're walking and no sticks no like there's just cruising by so definitely enjoy the it's an experience it's almost like a mini pilgrimage it's similar to like the Camino um, you're going through a lot of hardship now would I do it again right this minute? Probably not, because but it's still in my mind. I would do another trek because now that I know where all the hills are and that it'd be too hard on the head, knowing that you have a day of straight climbing up a hill and then and likewise. But the views are absolutely remarkable. Uh, the people are great. You know, accommodations are basic. Some are better than others, and uh, some of the food's better than others. But it's not bad, it's, it's it's value for your money, but the experience is what you're getting out of it and, that, and the people that you're meeting. So definitely, definitely make it, put it on your bucket list. It's one of the places to go and I recommend Lang Tang Trek. Another thing that's pretty amazing is, when you think about it, we would have done this Lang Tang Trek, the whole hike, with four days of hiking. We have one day travel up, we'll have one day back up. But the actual hike itself, we've done it in four days. So, you could do it in a lot longer and slower, so maybe it'll make it a little easier. But, like again, definitely recommend it. Here's one of the suspension bridges. So we cross over. Bounces up and down as you walk. It's nice and cool. It's raining a little bit. Just little sparks here and there. Okay, so make sure also when you're uh, stopping like at the tea house, especially when you have the, the last one we had, the breakfast was uh, not great. The porridge was terrible and we didn't really eat it. So my feet are great coming down, but we're getting wobbly in that because it takes a lot of energy. So we're now at Bamboo Guest House. You can see right here right by the water so I stopped and got the Tiger energy drink and a Snickers bar to help uh, give me a uh, boost up the energy because I was feeling really good walking the only thing is I felt my knees getting a little wobbly sometimes now with the sticks it helped so you want to make sure that you uh, eat your eat your meals in that way hindsight probably should have had a Snickers bar in the morning too just to give you the energy because hiking down those hills and up the hills takes a lot out of you See how it goes the rest of the way. Right here, yeah. Good. Huh. Okay, we're coming up to the last little bit. This is our last stop before we get to Cyber Basie. So we're about an hour and a half away to finishing this, what usually is a seven day trek. We're gonna complete in four. So fair play to the porters that helped us and you know, 
it's a uh, it's good having the porters with you much recommend it I'm happy I've done this it's a it's a nice accomplishment a lot harder than Ben Nevis but uh, recommend it put it on your wrist so now we're just passing over the last little stretch of the Lang Tang trip we have this one little bridge to go across and the rest is all like route on uh, to go to Cyber Basin so see there's little bridge and then there's where they have the construction of all the uh, the hydroelectric plant that they're building here to bring more electricity to uh, the Wangtang Valley you know there's lots of hydro potential here like the last five days all you hear is water running constantly and here's the bridge that we cross over and then the rest is this route to Cyber BC so we've been walking along the road. First road we've seen in five days. Um, well, it's not it's a, it's a gravel road or sand. We're walking in towards Cyber Base. And uh, things are feeling a bit so sorry, but you know, it's beautiful scenery still. There's the best number one guy. Final day, yeah. Final day. Yeah. Just walking back in and this is a uh, one little road we have to follow to get into to town. About an hour since we had that last break at that little bridge to get onto the roads. And then now we have the first sight of Cyber Bessie. And Just a little note. Cyber Bessie is actually 20 kilometers away from the Chinese border. So if you look through the, from the town out towards the Chinese side, there's a mountain range and that's on China's side. So it's very close. That's where a lot of goods come into Nepal from. Now, during the COVID and that and the lockdowns, it affected them, but now they're starting up and running, so goods are starting to come back in. Some little friends we see on the road. Just as we're walking into Cyber Bay Sea. Back then, a couple little goats. Continue on. Here again is part of Super Bessie and the rest of it. We'll make our way towards that uh, foot bridge. Going over. Okay, so we're finally inside Cyber Bessie. Uh, it was a lot longer than I thought because even when we had the last break, you seen it and said, okay, it was quite hard to get up here. So very challenging. I hope you enjoyed the Lang Tang Trek series. Uh, you know, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button because I have a whole bunch planned for Nepal. Uh, I'm going to go see Darbar Square, uh, the Monkey Temple, plus many, many more, including uh, Gundaki Golden Bridge. Plus, I'm going to stay with a Nepalese family in Province 1 for a week. And we'll see what that gets on. Like, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, tonight, we're going to go to our hotel, have a shower, and we'll you know, change of clothes and uh, enjoy maybe a beverage or two. And tomorrow morning we take the bus or the Jeep ride back into the uh, Kathmandu. Okay, so we're at Trekker's Inn finally. We've all had our shower, we've got our room solved. So now we're celebrating with a, Last day. a nice uh, beer, Gorka Strong. It seems to be my, uh, my beer of choice in Nepal. So here we are all just sitting there Tamara's already called her daughter because she was always worried for her. <laughs> yeah. Michael's at the end having a beer. He's like, he, had, he had to shower before me, so he got there about 20 minutes before me. <laughs> it was a long walk in from when we got to the final part when he seen the, city, the town in our city or whatever, and then he had a fair fair hike up to it, but it's nice and it was, uh, it was a very good, uh, enjoyable uh, trek. It's one that we won't forget. And I'd recommend that if you want something like that, definitely think of the Wang Tang Trek, especially. But just make sure you prepare and don't forget to take a porter. Porter is very important. And again, okay, cheers. Let me have some beer. So we've had a few beers to celebrate, and now we're walking around the, the town of Cyber Bessie, and the goats are being herded across.
We're just gonna take a look at tour of the town and see what's up. It's a tough life to be a donkey in Nepal. And for that matter, a probably person too. Harder workers. Strong people. Like you wouldn't believe what they can do. Very impressed. Enjoyed my experience here. Here's little doggos. Having a lion with the lads. And now they're going up there. Yeah. So I was seeing if they have any crocs or that. Stop by this shop. It's I'll try it. Try it on this side. Let's try it on this side. Let's see. I don't know. I think it'll be nine, so... Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. It probably... No, too tight here. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don't 200? What size are they? Yeah. Three size? Three size? Okay, I'll, I'll get that. Oh, look. This is bad, this is great. Yeah, take it. Kathmandu, but I'm I'm here Kathmandu for uh, for 30 days, so I'm gonna go to uh, Baglung. Baglung. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to Province One. Twitta, oh. Twitta. Twitta. Just Kathmandu and here. So. I just. I, what? After tomorrow morning, go back to Kathmandu, and then I, I'll spend two days, maybe three, in Kathmandu. Budget, this one. I know. But then I think. And um, then I'll, uh, I'll see. It depends because I'm going to my friend's family place in Province One. Uh, I'll spend a week there. If not, I'm gonna go to uh, Pokhara and then go to Baglung and then come back. And I want to do Panatui and. Bunji and Bukhara. Yeah. I don't know. Bunji? Uh, old. I'm old. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Lang Tang was, it was hard. It was hard. Hard for me. You reached up to Kenjin. Yeah. But I, I walked around Lang, Lang Tang. I spoke to a lot of people, um, you know, from the earthquake and stuff. So it was good. I always wanted to come to Lang Tang. The rest wasn't, and also Nepal. I want to see Nepal. So finally, I just give you a quick room tour. Um, we've been settled in for a bit, and here's what you get in Cyberbase. So two single beds, and then we have a western toilet, and then a wet room. So you have the uh, shower here, and then the western toilet. So this comes with the package of the. Uh, of the track. 
So tonight we're having a final meal. Tomorrow morning we get up early, get into the Jeep, and we'll take it down. I'll probably probably to film some of the the uh, views on the way back, but for the most part, very very impressed with the whole trip. And make sure to uh, stay tuned because there's a whole bunch coming up, including a trip with a family for up to a week. Final part of the room tour. We have a little balcony here. And I'll show you, this is the view of a room. There's that uh, footbridge we walked across into town, so it's quite a ways. So basically Lang Tang cut across between those two mountains and then you walk forever. <laughs> it's amazing views. Kathmandu, and here's all the different hotels that service all the trekkers. So we just had our uh, birthday celebration for Tamara and Michael. Michael's birthday is tomorrow. And then, yeah. hello. Nepalese tradition is... Nepalese tradition. That we're told. That we're told. We'll find out. I'm going to do some research on Google to see if it's right. Because then they put the cream all over her face. So, anyway, it's a good crack anyways. We had a, it's a good end for the, uh, good end for the week, so...